Well, it turns out that the Talmudic Jewish lobby in their continued campaign against free speech and freedom of expression actually opened up a nationwide command center, essentially, to monitor so-called anti-Semitism, which they would include as criticism of the false uh, satanic antichrist religion of Judaism. Plain and simple. Because the problem is, is that they think essentially anti-Semitism has been uh, misused so much that it basically has lost all meaning. Just like words like racism or Islamophobia or transphobia, they've been pretty much just lost all meaning because anything critical of Judaism is now anti-Semitic. Pretty much. And if you criticize Judaism, you're now basically lumped in with like full-on you know, skinheads and neo-Nazis and all this other stuff. It's a bunch of garbage. And this command center that they've opened up, uh, essentially it's just a further evidence of the fact that the Talmudic Jewish lobby is an enemy of freedom of speech. Plain and simple. And, you know, it's no different than how the Muslims would try to go after freedom of speech. But it says here on uh, the Jewish Telegraph Agency, Jewish Security Organization opens National Command Center in Chicago. This is uh, uh, last year, so think of how more so it is now. But it says here in the article, the Secure Community Network, which coordinates security for Jewish institutions nationwide, has opened a command center in Chicago to monitor anti-Semitic threats. The center's main control room, monitoring room, uh, the, the center's main room, sorry, is a monitoring room with a 16-foot uh, video screen that shows a map uh, uh, and tally of, of incident supports, uh, sorry, of incident reports, sorry, and potential threats across the country. It is staffed by some 10 people on a daily basis, but can be operational 24 hours a day. As it was over the high holidays this month. The opening of the center comes as statistics from watchdog groups show a rise in anti-Semitic incidents in, in uh, recent years. Michael Masters, CEO of the Secure Community Network, said in a statement that the command center allows us to have a central location for the community, security officials, and our partners to include law enforcement to report, coordinate, and protect the Jewish community. But the problem with that too is that they're lumping actual like violent attacks on Jews with criticism of Judaism because it's just a broad definition of so-called anti-Semitism. And the thing is too is that you can shut down any kind of criticism or exchange of ideas by just saying, oh, you're just anti-Semitic and at that point, because it's so taboo apparently, that you just get shut down, plain and simple. Because the problem with, the, with this whole thing is that the Talmudic Jewish lobby uh, fails to realize that free speech is not just speech you agree with. You know, for example, I'm Slavic. So before someone tries to call me a neo-Nazi, I'm Slavic, uh, I'm Russian, and we were also victims of the uh, Nazi regime. They, they put Slavs in concentration camps as well. Uh, so calling me a Nazi, it would be ridiculous, just as, as it would be calling a Jewish person a Nazi. Uh, and I personally wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't agree with, with my neighbor putting up a swastika, but I su would support his right to do so. Why? Because freedom of speech is not just speech I agree with. That's the thing. And the Talmudic Jewish lobby has continually, time and time again, fought against freedom of speech. That's a problem. And it is basically a totally uh, contrary to a free and open society. Yeah, but like I was saying, sorry, I had a bit of a camera malfunction here, but like I was saying, the problem with this uh, monitoring of speech is that that's what tyrants do. In fact, censorship and monitoring of speech you don't like is what the Nazis would do. See, part of being in a free and open society is the exchange of ideas and the right to speak freely. It's dictatorships like communism and Nazism and fascism that would censor speech they don't like. So it's quite ironic that the Talmudic Jewish lobby is using Nazi tactics to fight Nazis. And the problem is, again, they label Nazis, like someone like me would get labeled a Nazi because I criticize Judaism. It's a problem, a major problem. Uh, Jesus Christ in the, uh, for example, John chapter 5, John chapter 10, John chapter 8, uh, was also having trying to basically attempted to have his speech shut down by the Pharisees when he was rebuking them for their wickedness. So it, it seems to be a long tradition with Talmudic Judaism to try to shut down free speech of their opponents. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.